everyone, it's me Tima and I'm back with a new video and today I'm going to be talking about my updated skincare routine in Japan since a lot of you guys have been asking me on my Instagram as well as my YouTube channel and I definitely have some new things to show you guys that I've bought from here so far. As of now, I've just been going through 10 steps for my skincare. It seems like a lot, but I know that a lot of Koreans do use this. Um, I did visit an etude house since I've been here and I've pretty much been using a combination of Japanese and Korean skincare. It's been really transforming my skin, as you can see. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about that, but also go through my process and just how I apply everything to my skin. So first, I'm going to start off with this gem. It's a lemon soda black head removal deodorant looking stick. I got this from Etude House, and all you do is put it on your T-zone wherever you have blackheads or large pores, and it cleans them out. Um, this was around, I think, what, $12, and it was really, really good. I was shocked because I was like, this must be a gimmick. It looks odd, but it does the job. I also got this facial scrub from Etude House. This was around $5, and it basically has 40% hyaluronic acid in it, which helps with dark spots on your face, and I had that issue bad. And then I'm going to wash this off, and I should have done this step first, but I'm going in with my oil cleanser and you basically use this whenever you're taking off your makeup uh, at the end of the day, but it also helps to just soften up your skin. I thought as a person with oily skin that I couldn't use this, but it has done my skin wonders honestly. And now I'm going to show you guys what else I use on my face out of the shower. So yeah, let's get into the skincare video. A lot of you guys have been asking me what I've been doing for my skin. Um, right now my face is kind of dry because I am still in the middle of my skincare routine. I'm gonna go through the rest of it. In this video, I have always had issues with my skin. Whenever I wear makeup, I always end up looking really terrible after two or three hours because my pores end up showing up. This is getting better, um, but I'm gonna go through what I kind of use for you guys and how I combat my hyperpigmentation and also my acne. Yeah, I think that my skin has always been just an issue of mine. Like I've always tried to cover it up with makeup and you guys have seen that in past videos of mine. Like I look back of how much I caked and how much I was trying to highlight and like get rid of like what I naturally looked like basically. And um, I feel like since being here on this trip, I've realized that I don't have to wear that much makeup. So I definitely am gonna be on a journey to just wear a lot less makeup and just have my skin looking really nice. Basically my next video is gonna be on how I do a minimal makeup or like a minimal foundation, but still beat face type of look. So I have two different cleansers that I like to use. One is in the morning and one is at night. So I like to use this Acne's Japanese cleanser just to make sure whatever pimple I have on my face is able to be um, taken care of at night. I feel like whenever I use acne related products at night, it works better for me personally on my skin because your body has time to rest and soak up all the ingredients that you put on your skin for the night. So this is really good. This was a drugstore brand. I got this for around six or seven dollars also really gentle on the skin as well it does have some little like micro beads in there um at night i like to use this is by a two house by the way i like to use the hyaluronic acid happy essential foam cleanser and this has 40 percent hyaluronic acid and it basically helps me with my hyperpigmentation on my skin yeah i would use this day and night but i also want to combat my dark spots on my face as well so this i always use in the morning so whatever clip you guys see for this it's going to be used with this cleanser Also, a huge thing that I like to do, I don't use this every single day, but every three to four days I like to use this lemon soda blackhead out stick. And you basically just rub it on your nose and it melts the blackheads on your face. So for me, I mostly get my blackheads on my T-zone, but mostly on my nose area. I always have them sticking out, but right now it's like my nose looks shiny and like nice because, not because of oil, but because my blackheads are gone and it's just like squeaky clean at this point and it looks amazing. And, and the makeup sits better on my face whenever I have zero blackheads and they're all just like out. Um, this is the thing to get. Um, a Tude House has several different sections in their store. One's for acne, one's for blackheads, one's for pores. Um, so I did get a couple of things from these different sections in their store. I just sound so nasally in this video. I'm so sorry. So um, also before I cleanse with either of these cleansers, if I'm wearing my makeup or even if not, um, just to make my skin feel a lot more soft and less dry, 
I used my AHA cleansing oil. I usually use makeup wipes and I'm gonna stop using them because I usually put on a ton of makeup so I have to use them. Basically you put it on your skin, let it set for a couple seconds and then make sure that you massage the oil into your pores and all that good stuff so that all the makeup kind of just gets out. And it's more of a gentle way of taking off your makeup rather than wiping your face and stripping your face with all those like chemicals in the cleansing wipe that you do use. Okay, so after I do that, I kind of use an exfoliator. I do have an exfoliator, only use it two to three times a week. I made the mistake of using it almost every day and it literally killed my skin. So don't do that, it's gonna dry your face out and yeah, you just don't really need that. <laughs> So I went to Lush recently and I've been using this product a lot. Uh, I've been using, it's called Mask of Magnanimity. I probably said that wrong, but that's okay. It looks like this. It's, it smells like mint, it smells pretty natural. It almost smells like toothpaste, but it has like little beads in there. So it's not only a face mask, but it's also a facial scrub slash face wash. So it's really good, I love it. I got the smaller version, I think this was around $12 or something. It's really, really good. It really improves the texture of my skin overall, but definitely only use it two to three times a week. You don't have to use it every single day. It's not needed. Um, just kind of space it out during the week as you go and you should be fine. This face mask from Lush you can use every day. It's very gentle on the skin. It's more of a jelly texture, um, or to me it looks like a pudding. So when you jiggle it, it kind of moves. Now just a little bit goes a long way, so don't use too much of this, but it helps to close up your pores. So whenever I went to Lush, I was looking for a product to really help seal in my pores and not like be too harsh on my skin. You only leave this one on for five minutes and then this one for 15 minutes. This is solely for pores in general, so it's a 10 in 1 ultra pore solution. I used to rave about their essence cream from them and it was amazing. This is also from Etude House. So yeah, this is the Wonder Pore Freshener. It's really, 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 really good. So this is more of a clearing emulsion. Feels to me like it's an essence. Um, this is the Ultra Pore Solution 10 in 1. It's, it has like more of like a watery substance, which is what an essence kind of has, but it's still in cream form. Love this stuff. I think there's a lot of product in here for what you're getting. This costed me around $13 and it's amazing. Pores are a big deal for me and I definitely want to close all that stuff up. I would use that after I put on my toner and all that good stuff. So next thing you want to use is a hydrating serum. Um, I got this one from Innisfree. It's in the Intensive Hydrating Serum with Green Tea Seed. It doesn't make your skin feel super oily. It definitely hydrates it and it's like, it leaves your skin feeling really nice and plump. So I usually go for this uh, mostly at night. Also before my makeup is really good just to keep my face really hydrated and all that good stuff. That's very, very important. You don't want your skin to be dry. I feel like I've always had this thing as a kid and also throughout my teenage years thinking that because my skin is oily, my face needs to be dry before I put on my makeup and that's just not the case. Don't do that. Um, also, before I put on any moisturizers that I use, I usually go in with my different gel for my acne. It also helps with my hyperpigmentation because I do have a lot of that. But just to keep my acne in check because I do have acne prone skin, I don't have as much acne as I did before, but I still like to keep it in check at all times. So definitely been clear because of it as well. Next thing that you need to use is an eye cream, which I do not have at the moment, but I've just been using my products as a moisturizer underneath my eyes every single day and it's been helping me so far, but eye creams are definitely essential. Also for my moisturizer, I go in with my Marad Acne Clearing Solution. This has helped me so much. I'm going to switch it up in the future because I'm almost done with this one. But for this trip, I've been using this and it's been amazing for me. It's not drying at all and it has a lot of like water in it. It's very water-based. It is on the expensive side. Marad has always been expensive for me, so I don't really like to use it as much because it's just, it's a pretty pricey product, but it does do the job. So I have these two sunscreens. This is a favorite in Japan. This is like a number one go-to favorite of sunscreens. Like it's the Bior UV aqua rich watery essence. It's got SPF 50 and it's 
<sighs> when I tell you guys this stuff feels amazing on my skin, it feels amazing. It just feels so nice and it doesn't feel drying at all. It feels like it's doing something really nice to my skin as far as pumping it up and making it glow. I feel like it's just the perfect consistency and it's only $6. Um, also for like a sunscreen spray, I use this all over my body. Yeah, whatever body part I have exposed, I use this. It's not to get lighter, you guys. It's not to stop yourself from getting darker but it's just to help the texture of your skin and just like just keeping your skin young looking in general is like a main goal of mine if i do have any acne issues i end up using my mirad spot treatment on it i have to focus on this and really make sure that i take care of it at night i will use my sleeping pack it really does make your skin nice and plump in the morning like you just feel like your skin texture has improved so much i feel like i never was into collagen before i came here and now that i've been staying here for a month i've realized collagen is so important for your skin especially once you're getting older it just improves the texture so last thing i've been using just to seal everything in and it does close up your pores is tea tree water This stuff is amazing. It really does make your skin glow. It just feels refreshing and it makes your skin just really, really soft. So yeah, I will talk to you guys later. I hope that you enjoyed the video. I hope that I gave you guys enough information on my skin, helping it and what products that I've been using and stuff like that. Yeah, if you want a part two or something where I kind of go even more in depth, let me know. I will be doing a makeup, like get ready with me type of video on how my makeup or like an updated makeup tutorial on what I do with my skin. Yeah, stay tuned for more Japan content. Bye guys.